Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions, from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, the Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center with valuable information on seed starting, planting, and harvesting, plus all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Pre-order your free 2018 gardening guide today from stokeseeds.com, cultivating successful growers for generations. We'll have more to come from Stoke Seeds in the next few weeks. Now, on to today's question. Uh, let's talk. Uh, I know the one thing you wanted to talk about was uh, it's a good time to prune, oh, obviously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if you're out there pruning the evergreens, mm-hmm. uh, you can bring those in the house for the holidays. Yes, you can. Now, um, let's go with that. I I am big on evergreens in the house, a little bit of fragrance, their appearance, et cetera, et cetera. I don't care whether it's pine or hemlock or juniper or taxes or whatever. Matter of fact, I've mixed some things on the mantle, and it looks pretty good when you're all done. Uh, you can start that process any time. However, do not bring them in the house until, well, pushing the 15th of December. Uh, all plants that have been cut loose, parts have been cut loose, will start to dry. And as evergreens dry, they lose needles. And uh, <laughs> even if they don't lose them while they're decorations, you just dare want them to come off the mantle and not drop all of its needles on the carpet. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, I, I'm big on that. And I have taken long boughs, if you will, the branches, two and on a rare occasion, three feet long from some of the bigger plants. I don't take but one branch from one area and move on two, three, four feet up or down and around so that I don't, well, when I get done taking in sufficient evergreens for house use, you can't tell I was out there pruning, which does not complete the pruning job, but it does a wonderful thing toward Christmas decorations. And then with the, the uh, well, the <laughs> our common winterberry, I, I would not cut it yet. But when you're ready to start using those evergreen boughs, I would I would stick some winterberry in there, cut fresh right then, because uh, they will dry up like little peppercorns if you don't get them used and so on. But just it's possible to save oh, forty, fifty, seventy five dollars uh, using your own evergreens for decoration. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. and then. Uh Thanks again for listening to the podcast. If you have a question for Fred, go ahead and email us, fred at planttalkradio.com. And for the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to www.stokeseeds.com. Pre-order your free 2018 gardening guide today from stokeseeds.com. Cultivating successful growers for generations.